Ladies and gentlemen, it is the one, the only, it is Team Rai Rai. How the hell is everyone doing out there on social media? I'm doing quite well. It's kind of crappy outside. I got some snow. Nothing too major. Not just yet. Not going to win, right? Hopefully it's not going to be a bad winner. And this is not going to win. But you never know about this about this um, weather. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say my two cents in that department. Anyway, let's get this bad boy started and I'm going to discuss for you, my viewers, wrestling news, wrestling topics, and other random stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this finish him discussion. Here goes nothing. Now, I made a report on this certain wrestler. And he from Japan and all good stuff. And at the time, I discussed what brand will be perfect for him. Raw, Smack and Live, or 205 Live. Everyone knows that he's going to make appearance on 205 Live. Whenever that happens. My guess, sometime in 2018. Or maybe sometime the end of 2017. You only have a, what, a few more weeks until this year's over. Thank God. So, what would be a perfect fit for him? Raw, SmackDown, or 205 Live? Yes, I know that it's confirmed that he's going 205 Live. But... When he debuts on 205 Live, should he be face or a heel? Let me know what's your thoughts. Most of the time, when a WWE superstar debuts in a company or returns, it could be it could be a, a mixed reaction. He could be a face or it could be a heel. Whatever WWE wants him. So my guess is, this is just a wild guess, I think his debut in a W slash 205 Live, he will be a face. I could be totally wrong in this matter. I'll put the information down below. Now everyone knows that if you're a heel, you get a better push. In my eyes, you get better uh, championship opportunities. You don't get squash and all that sums it up, you know. But if you're a face, you gotta go by the rule book and you gotta do all the stuff. You gotta be a goody two shoe and you probably get mixed in a shuffle, maybe, maybe not. But I forgot to mention when you're a, a heel, you could almost do everything in the WWE, almost. You know, chair shots to the back. It's not the good old days. You could do it to the face. You know, things have changed over the years, and you could be more edgier on the mic. You could be more edgier in the ring. You know, I know things have changed over the years, but let's see how W um, does it, does this performer from Japan. Now you may know, or you may not know. He is 36 years old. Now that is not old if he don't wrestle, but he's getting up there in age. Even Suzuki Nakamura, <clears throat> he's 37 years old and he recently signed a WWE contract. You know, I thought he's a young whippersnapper, but he's 37 years old. He's pushing 40. He's getting up there in age. You know. Now. Um. I don't know how long he's going to be with WWE. He debuted in the wrestling business May 24th, 2000. So I'm looking this up on Google. If this is wrong information. I'm sorry. So let's see what happens. Are you guys excited for this move? Not excited? Let me know what your real thoughts on this matter. I'll put the information down below. And probably a lot of you know about his about the news anyway about it so I should done this a couple of days ago 
Well, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. So if you like this discussion, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and all other mumbo jumbo. So this is a host here. It is Team RRA. Thank you very much for listening. And I am sign off. Until next time.